So I'm here with my Acer Spin 5, the one with the i7 8550U, and the GeForce GTX 1050. And I just wanted to um, show you the battery life that's proposed on it. So right now, it's saying about 8 hours, 56 minutes, and about 99%. Um, but there might be a way to get a little bit more of course the battery saver but initially what I went to was power and savings and I went to advanced power settings power saver but in addition to that I actually also went to change plan settings and change advanced power settings and there they are. I think one of the main things is with a beast of a processor like this is if you really want to save power you want to limit the processor to make sure that it isn't cranking the whole time or has a chance of cranking so you want to take the maximum and I actually for an extreme power saving uh, s scheme I put it to 30 percent because um, this is a really strong processor, and I don't think for functions power, think functions that would be power saving, you would need to go use any more of that. Things like using the browser, or even like playing a movie on YouTube or something, or Netflix. I don't think you're going to need more than 30%, since it is an amazing quad-core processor with a huge capability. So... Um, I'm going to get out of this window and we're going to wait a second for it to refresh down here. This is 8 hour 56 minutes. And of course right now we're not doing much. So it's probably going to go up a little bit, not much. But uh, as far as battery life goes, sitting open and doing nothing and staring at it for about nine hours, that doesn't get us anywhere. So let's do a few, something like, let's go on YouTube and play a video. Um, YouTube. any video the first video that pops up how about that alright Kai's new London apartment in case anyone liked watching Digital Rev I did watch some of that so we're gonna wait a, a few minutes and see if this changes at all and this is playing gonna be playing it actually let's go higher 1440p so what should I say and it, this will be more dependent on the internet speed. Put it full screen for a moment. No problem. Yeah, starting at the airport again, I'm going to say that, oh, I'm so sleepy. I need to and this screen? And, uh, all the same. This screen uh, looks very nice. Yeah, I can actually turn a little well, brighter so here, too. See, that's where it is right now. I don't really need it brighter than that for my enjoyment. And of course, accompanied by the nice video quality that they have in their videos. This is looking like very nice. It's a 1080p screen, um, ILED or something, I don't know what they're coming up with these days, but all I know is it looks nice. The keyboard, I do like a keyboard that lights up. Um, I don't know how to get it to light up, but I know at night it was lighting up, so is it possible to detect if it's night or not? I don't know. Right, I'm in London. This fingerprint oh, remember this thing program. does seem to be working pretty good. Quick, so quick. So Alright, let's see. What is it saying That's now? Alright, so now with this kind of usage, it'll say 5 hours 56 minutes. So, one can assume that you get about 6 hours of YouTube watching, which to me is amazingly nice. I'd be totally down with 6 hours of battery life if it's this kind of usage. It's not like the most... Um, processor using uh, task, but so I, I it's something that's normal and it's something that's something that, something that you'll be doing. 
while you're using the computer entertaining yourself. And I think Microsoft Word or stuff like that will take less power. Now one thing I noticed that I was copying files and I hear the speakers are right there and they sound pretty good. These are nice little speakers here, nice and crisp. Of course not that much bass. But you hear everything good enough. Let's see how loud it goes. But this few days in Sunday, I was watching from because um, every day is just working for PGN. It's, really not it's not too loud, but I have headphones for that. But honestly, um, so I noticed that while I'm copying files, I guess that using these two, I guess USB 3.0 jacks on this side, they got up to like 90. 90 something megabits per second megabytes per second while transferring if you plug it in those two I haven't used that one yet the USB-C I don't know what to use it for yet but I'll get to it sometime and there is the nicely functioning power cable there and yeah on this side the USB is over there and it's not blue so I imagine that means it's USB 2.0 the SD card slot of course works fine that uh, power button there is cool and these this little volume thing that's been useful when I've been using in tablet mode now let's check the battery life again see if it's sort of consistent there Now it says 5 hour 56 minutes. I think I got on the wrong train. So it seems like with a task like this, it'll be around that much. Let's try another task. And this is still in power saver mode. Uh, only 30% can be used. But I wonder, how much do we need for this? Should I, what if I tried 15%? Screw it. Why not? So I'm going to change that from 30% to 15%. We'll see if I'm drastically slowed down and if it can't play the video anymore. Because that's like where I just start to draw the line with power savings. So I'm going to go to back to processor, maximum, and I'm going to do it on battery 15. 15, okay, apply. And things like, um, let's see, what do you have in display? That's dimness stuff, multimedia, the bias, video playback bias, and on battery power saving, of course. Um, turn off hard disk time, that's only when you're not using it. Graphic setting, power plan, maximum battery life. Okay. So, okay. We'll see what happens after a minute of this. See now it's it's not not shaky. It's a little la little laggier when going to full screen, but it's still nice fluid video. Yeah, the video is okay. I can still watch. It, it is laggy when. Laggier when leaving full screen though, and getting yeah, full screen, things like that. Because, um, since leaving, and now the uh, you know bringing up the taskbar gets a little laggier too. It's sort of noticeable. <laughs> and still around six hours. So this is very unscientific testing of the battery life and usage and stuff. Not any extensive testing. It's just showing what I'm showing here in 10 minutes but um, hopefully it ends up being useful to you all and you know this is a very nice laptop I really like how it feels the top is a nice strong metallic shape that's my keyboard back there and the rest of it's plastic but you know it's fine it's nice not too heavy it just feels solid. And what's the battery's life say now? Fire for the other man. So that's that's around what it is. So that's 
that's it. While you're watching YouTube, it's around six hours of battery life. Um, I'm going to watch a basketball game right now, so we'll see if it is alive at the end of the game, which I believe it should be at these power settings. But I will switch it back to 30% because that's a pain in the butt when I'm making changes. Yeah. Alright, well thank everyone for watching and hope you enjoy this laptop. Actually, you know one thing I'm gonna sh 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 just explain real fast is that um, when I first got the laptop I charged it up, it only showed three hours and I didn't know what to do so I called customer support and they gave me these steps to do so what they told me to do was um, first they told me to do this a total of three times so I went over here to the side and I held the power button right there he said hold it for 30 seconds um, and then let go so I hold it for 30 seconds let go so and he and then the computer was like you know I guess resetting or something a few times during that process on and off on and off so he told me to do that three times 30 seconds holding that button down and then after that he told me to flip it upside down and stick a pin see here's the laptop we're gonna go over to the side of it he said to stick a pin in that for 30 seconds so I did that and I, I noticed my battery woes went away and now it's acting probably like it should so that's another thing that's a possibility that maybe need to be reset or something when you first get it who knows but um, this is a nice laptop and it's working thank you